Hello, it's uh, Harry here. So in this video, I want to talk about the dockerization of our shiny apps. I recently read an article about how to do the dockerization. I followed the instructions uh, in that article and I was able to do it. So I want to do this video to show the whole process. Uh, this can be helpful to the people who are doing the dockerization of shiny apps. Okay, so this is the uh, article I was reading. It's called uh, How to Dockerize Shiny Apps, written by Oliver Guggenbu. So in this article, he gives an uh, explanation of the advantage of doing dockerization, and also how to set up our project, how to set up the RENV file, how to set up the Docker file. So it's a, it's a very good article. I'm going to work in this folder. So let's take a look at the path here. Uh, okay, so let's see what's in this folder. Okay, I already have a folder called the example app. So let's open this folder. Okay, so I have three files, uh, global R, server R, UI R. So let's open these uh, three files in R Studio. Um, okay. Let's go to our studio. Okay, so here we have the R Studio. Let's open those uh, s three files. Uh, so they are in Home, Shiny, New Seven. Okay, let's open Global R. Okay, then file open Shiny. Okay, server R, and then we open the last one. UIR. All right. So uh, this is a very simple shiny app. Uh, it produces the pie chart uh, with a table. So let's uh, run this uh, app. Okay, first step is to input some data set. So let's input some data set here. Uh, let's go to documents, data. Okay, and we select a variable. So let's select uh, uh, race and then click on pie chart. And you get the pie chart and you have a table here showing the count and the percentage for each category and you also have a download button if you choose a different variable uh, you get a, a different pie chart and table so it's a very simple sh shiny app for the review of data okay um, so to do the dockerization of this app uh, we need to create a, a project file so let's go to file uh, oh, sorry. First, I need to stop this app. Okay, so let's go to File. We go to a uh, new project. Uh, don't save. Go to existing directory because we already have the folder there. So let's click on this. Let's browse. We go to Home, Shiny, New 7 example so this is a folder uh, we need so click okay so now we go back to this uh, example app folder and take a look at the files you can see we get a new file uh, for the R project we can take a look at this uh, file okay so it's a very small file all right, um, so the next step uh, is to run the RENV innate. So let's uh, go back to the R Studio. Okay, I'm gonna close this. Okay, so here I have a small program, uh, library RENV, and then I have the RENV innate. 
So let's uh, save this uh, script. Okay, uh, let's go to this folder. Yeah, this is the folder we need. Uh, let's uh, save it as um, uh, temp dot r. Okay, so save. Okay, now we need to run this uh, uh, script. Okay, just click on run. Okay, so let's go back to the command line here and uh, take a look at all the files. Okay, so you can see uh, we have uh, a file called renv.lock. Okay, we can take a look at this. Okay, so it has all the all the things that we need for the uh, Shiny app. And there's another folder called renv. Uh, let's open the folder. So there's some file here. Okay. So that's the uh, that's the step for the renv init. We no longer need the file temp r, so we can delete the uh, temp r. Okay, uh, the file has been deleted. Yes. The next step is to set up the Docker file. Uh, let's go back to the command line here. So uh, let's see. This is a folder. Uh, let's go back one level. I'm doing. I'm going to run the clear command here. Okay. So we are under new seven, and we have this uh, example app. So the new seven folder is where we are going to save the the Docker file. So let me copy the Docker file uh, from another folder. So let's see. I have a Docker file in new file, so I'm going to copy. Okay, so now we have the Docker file. We can take a look. So I, I took this file from the article, how to dockerize uh, Shiny apps. Okay, so that's the Docker file. The next step is to do a, a, a login for the Docker. So let's do it. login succeeded. If you don't have the uh, Docker account, you need to set up the account first. Uh, now we can run the Docker build. So let's do that. Okay, so this uh, Hengwei Liu or forward slash pie chart. This is a repo that I already have uh, in the Docker Hub. So the tag is going to be pi2 and dot. Okay, so this is going to take a while. I'm going to stop the video and I will come back after this uh, command is done. Okay, so the docker build command is done. So as you can see from the screen, there are a lot of uh, installing and copying. It took quite a while. Okay, but now we are ready to run the, the docker run. So let's do that. Dash D, dash P. So we 
finished this Docker run. Now we can go to the uh, browser. So let's go to Firefox. And we can use local host. Oh, it's already here. Local host 3838. OK, so you can see that's the uh, app. Um, that I showed uh, a while ago. All right, now we can close this and we can do a Docker push. So I'm going to clear the screen and let's do Docker push. So this one uh, should not take uh, too much time. So what we're doing here is we push this um, app to the Docker Hub. So after this is done, we can go to the website and, and check. So let's go to the website. Okay. Okay, let me sign in. Okay, so here is the uh, pie chart. Okay, so you can see there is a pie two. Uh, it it's pushed a few seconds ago. Okay. Okay, so now that we have done the Docker push, we're going to show how to do the Docker pull. Uh, the purpose of the Dockerization is for the deployment of. Uh, the Shiny app to multiple machines. So we're doing the last part of this video on a different machine. So let's go to the terminal here. Okay, so let's do a Docker login here. Okay, and now we can do a Docker pull. So this should not uh, uh, take uh, too much time. So uh, it's done. Now we can do a Docker run. Okay, so we have the Docker run. Let's go to the browser. And we do the local host 3838. Okay, so you can see 
This is the Shiny app that I showed at the beginning of the video and we have successfully deployed this uh, app to a different machine. Okay, I think that's all I want to uh, talk about in this video. I'm going to uh, put the related materials in my GitHub account and I will leave a link in the description of this video. Uh, if you think this uh, is uh, helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you.